In this video we are going to talk about the R32 and R290 refrigerants we are going to compare with each other and we are also going to make some comparisons with respect to traditional gases. Let's start by saying that the R290 refrigerant can be used for freezing, refrigeration and air. While the R32 refrigerant is usually used for air conditioning. The R290 has a very low discharge temperature. This means that the temperature at which the comes out at the output of the compressor is much lower than the R32. The R32, on the other hand, has a very high temperature at the output of the compressor. Both refrigerants will have high pressure, but the temperature of the R32 refrigerant will be much than that of the R290 refrigerant. The lower the temperature of the refrigerant at the compressor, we guarantee better viscosity value, better lubrication and greater durability for the machine. We have to say that the R290 refrigerant has very different pressures than the R32. The pressures of the R290 are much lower, even similar to those of the R22. So we can say that the R32 has pressure similar to the R410A and the R290 has pressure similar to old R22. We can say that in air conditioning the pressure of the R290 is about 78 PSI while that of the R32. About 129 PSI. In terms of lubrication, the R290 is compatible with practically all oils while the R32 is only with PoE. Now, in terms of visibility, the compatibility of the R290 is much greater than that of the R32. Its respective oils. Now we can talk about flammability. In flammability, both gases are flammable, but the R32 is less flammable than the R290. In fact, the R290 classification is A3, while the R32 is A2L. They are not toxic, but both are flammable, although the R32 is less flammable than the R290. In fact, this flammability of these refrigerants is what forces us to make an evaluation of the where we are going to put a certain equipment. What happens? Both gases are flammable, but they can be very safe to work. Here we are going to have mostly equipment of less capacity, of less refrigeration capacity, that equipment of not so many tons, without equipment of less tons. Therefore, if we want to air condition a larger area, we will have to have several equipment, not the refrigerant load concentrated in one equipment, although you can also get equipment of a larger, but with two independent refrigeration cycles. The R290 and the R32 are two pure gases, they are not mixtures. Therefore, the load is very easy, it can be carried out by steam or liquid without any. As for the R290, we can say that a quite important aspect is its efficiency. The R290 is a gas more efficient than the R32 and the R410. Comparing it with the R32, we can say that it has a 5% better efficiency than the R32. Now, the main flows of the R290 are very low compared to those of the R32, they are much lower. Therefore, the equipment they bring with the R290 will need less refrigerant gas, but the will be larger. We must understand that we are not talking about the size of the power of the motor, we are talking the volume of the compressor, the physical volume. The physical volume of the compressor with the R290 is greater than that of the R32 because the like most of these gases and two carburetors are refrigerants that are volumetric, that is, they large, for a small mass of refrigerant they occupy a size. Therefore, the cylinder of that compressor will be larger than the R32, but this does not affect performance because they can work with compressors that are volumetrically larger but of lower. We must understand the concept and the main flow that they are going to handle is smaller. Therefore, 
we can conclude that if we are thinking about efficiency, we can lean towards the R290. If we are talking about security in terms of the fact that we are going to concentrate a large of equipment in a single area, we can lean towards the R32. If we are talking about an initial investment of many equipment, we need that investment not to. Problems later with environmental restrictions, we can think about the R290 because the R290 has environmental restrictions because it has a very low global warming potential, even a 3. Both gases have to be worked with safe procedures. They can work without any inconvenience. It is recommended to know the steps for the work of each one and, above all, have the elements of. See you in the next video.